Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 70 acre property on Sheep Mountain with world class views near BLM land. This image is standing on the property looking to the north. This is from the high elevation point. This is looking over the valley at Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. This is looking at the top of Sheep Mountain from the property. This is looking to the southeast at Silver Mountain. We're going to take you back to this image for a moment because anybody that's been following us for a while will know that we have sold a lot of properties in this area of Southern Colorado and dozens of those properties have been in this valley here. This property is at the highest elevation point of any parcel that we've offered in the county with the peak elevation being around 8,280 feet. That image we were showing you looking over the valley, that was taken from this part right here at the peak elevation. We're going to take you straight into the interactive map to give you an idea how these properties are laid out. It's actually two separate lots, each of those being 35 acres. The north lot is lot number 259. The south lot is lot number 275. If we zoom out a little bit here, you can see this is the top of Sheep Mountain. In all of this yellow shaded area, this is all BLM land. And these properties are close to the highest elevation point you can get on Sheep Mountain, while also maintaining an easier degree of usability because all this yellow shaded area is public land. And as you start to move to the west, up the mountain, the slope gets even steeper and steeper. And although these parcels are on the mountain and have slope to them, it's less of a degree than as you get higher on the mountain. And I'll show you that by turning on this topographic layer. You can see that both of these properties have a larger, more level outcropping at their high elevation points. You see that right here, and then also right here. And right here is where that photograph was taken that we pointed out. Now, if we look over here to the map legend, click that, turn on the map features, and we're going to show you a few different layers that we have here. Let's turn on the boundary layer. What this boundary layer will show you is the boundaries along all of these parcels. Each one of these parcels has a 20 foot wide easement around the entire perimeter of the property. Where there are adjoining parcels, that easement then is 40 feet wide, unless otherwise noted. And a couple places where it is otherwise noted on the plat map is this road right here that then extends down and runs along the entire north boundary of what is lot 259. That 60 foot wide easement also runs right here and extends along what is the entire west boundary of lot 275. There are multiple ways that you can access these properties. This is the plat map with the parcels highlighted in green, each 35 acres for the total of 70 acres. We zoom in on those plat maps, you can see those easements that are pointed out right here. And we've highlighted the two that we'll consider to be the paths of least resistance. The 60 foot wide easement that runs along the north boundary of the property is currently accessible with an ATV or a Jeep or some type of heavy duty off-road vehicle. Alternatively, you could cut a road in along this easement right here, which runs between these two parcels so that it's 40 foot wide and will take you to the northeast corner of this property. And in this image, we also have those easements pointed out. Additionally, these easements provide access to the BLM land. The BLM land on Sheep Mountain is only about 800 feet from the property. And if we zoom out a little bit further, you can see all of the additional BLM land surrounding these properties. This section of BLM land is over 3,000 acres, and that is only about 600 feet from the property. Collectively, between these two properties, you have access to over 5,500 acres of BLM land within just a few hundred feet. If we zoom out a little bit further, you can see all of this green shaded area this is national forest land. There's over a million acres of national forest land within just a short distance from the property. You have more BLM land, state parks, state wildlife areas. This is a national park, the Great Sand Dunes National Park. The property is located in game management unit number 85, which is desirable for elk. This area of Southern Colorado has one of the largest elk herds in the world. We have customers that have purchased land from us in this area from all over the United States. And the abundance of elk is one of the reasons that many of our customers have purchased property in this area. There's also lots of wild turkey, mule deer, bear, and mountain lion. To give you an idea where this property is located at in Colorado, this is the 70 acre parcel right here. To the north, you have the paved state highway 69. To the south, you have the paved state highway 160. You take either one of these state highways to the east and you're going to run into Interstate 25. Interstate 25 runs north and south along the front range. Right here is the town of Walsenburg. This is about 30 miles from the property. It's the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. Population around 3,200. There's a hospital, grocery stores, building supplies. All the essentials you'll need you can find there in Walsenburg. If you take Interstate 25 to the north, then about an hour and 10 minutes from the property, you're going to enter Pueblo, Colorado. Pueblo has a population around 
around 110,000. Continue on Interstate 25 to the north. About two hours from the property, you'll enter Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. Go another hour on Interstate 25 to the north and you'll be in Denver. Denver's about three hours from the property. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan area have a population over a million. There's also an international airport in Denver. The paved State Highway 69 is just under eight miles from the property. Here we have the path mapped out from State Highway 69. Here's a photo of Highway 69 en route to the property. This is County Road 540 in the intersection of the road that will take you to the property. To give you an idea where that photo is taken, it's right here. This is County Road 540 and then you'll split to the southwest and this road will take you up to the property along this easement here. In this image, we're looking west along that 60 foot wide easement that runs along the north boundary of the property. And then this is looking east along that 60 foot wide easement. There is some fencing in place along the north boundary of the property. Another amazing view of Greenhorn Mountain and the San Isabel National Forest over the valley. Several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees, which are represented by these white circles. Here's a neighbor to the northwest. You can see they have a main home and a couple accessory buildings. There's a closer view of their log home. Neighbor to the southwest, you can see they've position their home to take advantage of those amazing views. A couple of the neighbors higher up on the mountain. This is a neighbor on one of the adjoining parcels to the west. And here are satellite images of some of those properties. There are no covenants or HOA fees. There's no time limit to build. And the minimum dwelling size is only 600 square feet. You can also do alternative building styles. You can see this landowner has a geodesic dome on their property. A log home, shipping container home, arch cabin, kit cabin. Or you can just use the property recreationally. Just pitch a tent. Now let's take some time to look at these Google Earth terrain views. This is southeast of the property looking northwest. You can see both parcels laid out here that comprise of the 70 acres and all of these red lines represent those easements and these are the easements that we pointed out. This is that 60 foot wide easement. Now we're east of the property looking west. This is a lower elevation point here looking up to a higher elevation point and you can see that 60 foot wide easement pointed out right here. And if we go back to this image there's that 60 foot wide easement. And understand this is mountainous terrain. If you were to drive a vehicle down this easement, you're going to need a Jeep, an ATV, or some type of off-road vehicle that's equipped for this type of terrain, along with the skills to maneuver it. Here we've opened Google Earth with the parcels and the easement layers on, and if you look, the reason that we pointed out this easement right here is because it is the easiest path of accessing the property. If you were to let's say cut the path in along this easement, which that is what the easement is for, you'd be able to bypass this whole route of driving up the mountain and then down this steep easement. We've had several of our customers that have purchased properties where the easements were in place and then they went in and cut the roads in. You just want to have the path flagged by a surveyor. We've worked with a professional surveyor in the area that we can refer you to. And then along that route is where you'd create the road. And using this route along the easement to get to the property, this will save you over one and a quarter miles worth of driving. Again, going up the mountain and then down the mountain along this 60 foot wide easement. Now we're northeast of the property looking southwest and you can see as you get beyond the west boundary of lot 275 where that peak elevation point is it really starts to increase at a steep slope and this peak elevation point this is where we showed you that original photo this photo right here and here are some more photos from that natural clearing at that peak elevation point this natural clearing which is a more gentle slope makes up about 1.75 acres in size if you were ambitious and wanted to put something at the highest elevation point on the property that would be the ideal spot but that choice is yours this property offers offers a wide range of opportunities to create something amazing. From the property, you're about seven and a half miles to the town of Gardner. Gardner has a population around 350. There's a cafe, school, a couple churches, a post office. You're about 11 miles from the Bedito Cone in the southern portion of Greenhorn Mountain where you'll find the San Isabel National Forest. Again, that's over a million acres of national forest land. Here are photos of the San Isabel National Forest. Incredibly beautiful area. This is the top of Greenhorn Mountain. You're about 25 miles from Interstate 25, and that's the interstate that runs north and south along the Front Range that'll take you up into Pueblo, Colorado Springs, and Denver. Walsenburg's about 30 miles from the property has a population around 3,200. It's the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. There are multiple grocery stores, a hospital with a level four trauma center. This is Main Street where you find shopping and dining. There's lumber and building supplies, K through 12 public school. You're about 35 miles from the Lathrop State 
Park. It's Colorado's first state park. There are two lakes there. It's set against the backdrop of the Spanish Peaks. There you can enjoy fishing, boating, water sports. This is a trail map of the Lathrop State Park. About 30 miles to the town of La Vita. It's a popular tourist destination. It has a population around 800. About an hour and 10 minutes from Pueblo, Colorado. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. You can find all the big box retailers there in Pueblo and anything else that you need. To the west of Pueblo, you'll find the Lake Pueblo State Park. Over 4,600 surface acres and 60 miles of shoreline. You're about two hours from Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. Then you're about three hours from Denver. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan area have a population over a million. There's also an international airport in Denver. We have these 70 acres on Sheep Mountain with world-class views just a few hundred feet from over 5,500 acres of BLM land priced at $99.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes for both parcels combined is about $640 a year. There's no HOA or HOA fees. There's no time limit to build. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time. Again, the minimum dwelling size is only 600 square feet. If we were to build something on the property, many of our customers have purchased properties in this area just to use recreationally for hunting and hiking, camping out under the stars, and creating memories with their family that will last a lifetime. There's a lot of detailed information here within the description along with links to nearby points of interest where you can find more information about those locations. Here are the GPS coordinates. We've provided the GPS coordinates for both parcels and you can click on these links that will open those on a Google map. There are over 180 images of the property in the surrounding area. All of these images have captions. Many of them have labels. If the property is of any interest at all, we highly recommend you take the time to look through all of these images. These photos will answer many of the questions that you may have and even some that you had not thought of. And then at the bottom of the page, we have this interactive map. This is a truly unique property. It again is at the highest elevation point of any property that we've offered in Horfano County. Most of the mountains in the county are public land. So to find private land on a mountain like this is very rare. But this property is not for everybody. If you're looking for something that you can drive up to with a low clearance two wheel drive car, this is not the property for you. But if you're looking for something that is unique, that is a higher elevation, that has varied terrain, mature trees, amazing views that extend for miles and miles and miles, then this is something to consider. And at Landio, we work extremely hard to make it super easy for you to purchase land. All you need to do is go to our website, landio.com, navigate to the property. Once you're on the property details page, you'll see this green buy now button. If this buy now button is green and says buy now, that means the property is available as of that moment. We only have one of each property available and we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. To secure this property, all you need to do is click that green buy now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. This deposit will secure the property for you. The $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase and we cover all of the closing costs. There are no other commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for this property is just the $99.9. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed as little as a day. To secure the property, you just click checkout. This window will appear where you enter all your contact information, click continue to payment, enter your payment information, and then complete the checkout out process. At the exact moment the checkout process has been completed, this buy now button will automatically change to out of stock. If you're looking at this property and it says out of stock and that buy now button is gray, that means that someone else has placed a deposit on the property. The price will say under contract. That means the deposit has been placed but the buyer has not yet completed the purchase. At that time, if you'd like to place a backup deposit on the property to secure your place in line, just contact us and we'll walk you through the steps. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 8668-LANDIO. That's 866-852-6346. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message. We'll respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. If you have any questions about Landio or doing business with us, we highly recommend you go to our website and click on this testimonials tab. Here you will find video testimonials from a handful of our hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers that are just like you. At one point in time, they were visiting our website and thought, ah, this seems too good to be true. And many of our customers have said just that. They say they thought it was too good to be true 
but it is true. We just posted a recent testimonial here from Jim and Linda. We encourage you, if you have any questions, please take a look at these testimonials. Again, these testimonials will maybe answer some of the questions that you may have. And if you have questions beyond that, again, please reach out to us anytime. We welcome the conversation. And we also sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website to watch our property videos and ask that you please support us by sharing our website and our properties with everyone that you know. The more people that we reach, the more dreams of land ownership we can make come true. And it would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers and that you felt so compelled by the service you received that you provided a testimonial as well. Please help us bring more amazing properties to market by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a positive comment, and be sure you subscribe to our channel and have your notifications turned on to ensure you're notified of new videos as soon as they come available. Thank you and may God continue to bless you and your family in all areas of your life. Landio. Land is opportunity. Please click in the upper left hand corner and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right hand corner we have all of our available properties in a playlist. In the lower right hand corner we have a playlist of our Land is Opportunity series. And in the lower left hand corner we have our Landio Unscripted series.